Yo guys, so if you remember my old video on how to make a GFX, well let's say I was new at it and I was kind of terrible at it, so, but now I've got better and I've adapted to a different technique which involves a different rig in Blender and making it a completely different way in Blender instead of making it in Roblox Studio. So this is how to make it. Well, of course you open Roblox Studio, then, well, of, I, I use Factor in as, because it's just probably like a normal bit template. Once I've done that, and it loads in, it should say toolbox on the left hand side like this. And in plugins, you type in character light. Once you do that, it should say this. And once you do that, download it, and it'll just download in the game. In basically Roblox Studio. Once you've done that, at the, right at the top it says Home Model Avatar Test View Plugins. Go to Plugins. Once you've done that, go to Load Character Already Pros Plugins. Once you've done that, it comes up like this on the screen. And in this blank area where it says Already Pro, you put your username in to insert to spawn it. So I won't put mine in. And once you've done that, you press Spawner Origin and spawn R6 so it spawns properly in the blend in the blender so that it doesn't mess up and go to a different place. Now once you've done that, spawn R6 and it should come up down here for me. Once I've done that, I go to my name where it says this, right click it. So when right click it, it should come up as this. And right at the bottom it says export selection. And I will just I'm just gonna save it downloads because it's easier. Once I've done that, I'm going to type it out as uh, this, that's it. And that is all, when you, when you spawn that in the blender, it only comes up as your body, not your hair. So once you do that, you have to import all the other accessories. So, and I've only got my hair, so I'll just import that. And as well, you can name it whatever you want. Now, once I've done that, I'll go to my files, go to downloads. Scroll all the way down to find the Roblox rig. This I'll put it in the description so you can download it. Uh, so when you when you when it comes out like this, you press rig. Don't press extra. Press rig. Then I press type B because it's just fair. And once you press type B, I I use faceless blend. I don't know. I feel like it's just fair. Once I do that, double click it and blender should come. Now once it loads up, it comes up like this screen, and it shows a purple rig here. Now what you want to do is press the head, the head, just the head, that's it. When I press it, it should come up all unchanged. Now I go to this bottom left, not right at the bottom, but this part where it shows like a grid. Press that, and it, all these animation, general, script and data things come up. And you want to press shader editor, or you can press shift F3. So press that, and it comes up like this. And as you can see, it says texture here. What did I do to it? Let me go back. It says texture here. Oh no, never mind, I fixed it. It says texture here. And you don't press this white file. It says open image. Press it. And when you export it, your your avatar should say, it should say like handle wood underscore diff dot png. If it's, not like, if it's not that, then it's wrong, but it should come up like that. Then once that happens, you press it. And if to find it easier to get it, you could do this. Use this. And change the date modifier like this. This is age from now to back then. So I press it. And it comes up like this. Now once you've done this, uh, you import your hair. Or if you don't do it later, you could do it later. So I'm gonna do it later. Now a GFX I'm probably gonna make is me doing a bicycle kick. For this you have to press on these square things and like move your body about. So I'm gonna rotate it if is it this one like that. But and if you if you don't undo it and go forward, it's just gonna edit like this. And I'm gonna just press shift. C3RZ That's my body 
so I'll have to do it like that. I will just pick my head up because it looks a little down and it's weird. Now once I've run that, my head is in perfect position and because you're going to be kicking a ball, it's going to be different because you're going to have to like move your oh shoot, that's wrong. You're going to have to like twist your leg a little like to 180 degrees because it doesn't bend as a toe so you're going to have to change it. Let me just move my head down a little bit. Now, so once I've run that, because I'm going to be doing a bicycle kick, I'm going to press the top of the leg, the top, just the top, that's it, and rotate it sideways. Because if I do it forwards, it'll come like this, look. Press on the front part, and it'll go down, not up. So I'll need to go up, so I have to change it, I have to change, direct it 180 degrees. So I'll press it again. Once I've pressed it, one. That's 90 degrees and then 180. And then I'm gonna move it a little bit down because it looks a little too high. And just rotate it sideways. Now, once I've done that, I'm gonna go at the bottom where the toe part is at the back of it and just put it up on the wrong part. Is this it? I can't see it. There. And then lift up. Or wrong foot again. This one and then it comes up like that nice and slowly and then i'm gonna lift the foot up a little bit because it's just gonna look weird if i just keep it like that and let's see and the foot looks a little wobbly so if i just turn it that way there and then i'm gonna put my arm up because it's just gonna look weird if i just stay levitating i'm putting my arm down put my arm up for like the suspense and showing that i'm jumping Put a little bit more like that, and then this is gonna go down because when you're jumping, one arm goes up, one arm goes down, and this foot is gonna go down. This is basically leg. There, and then once I've done that, I'm gonna insert my hair, of course, because I just don't want to be looking like a mirror. But first, I'm gonna no, not that. See, I'm gonna red. I will go to the head part, like this neck part, and I move my head. Tilt it a little backwards so that it doesn't, the whole head doesn't move away. Then now I'm going to import the hair so it fits in with my character because it will be hard at first. So to do that you go fail, import either Wavefront OBJ or Wavefront OBJ Legacy. Press that and it comes up like this. Then go to downloads and it should set all your downloads here. So and my here was this therapyhair.obj. Now pro press import it. Once it comes, it should be right here. Now I'm gonna press on it, move it up, and match it with my hair. With my head, basically. Can't see it properly, so I'm gonna change direction. There. Now I'm gonna bring it down there and put it in forward. There. I think I need to rotate a little bit because my head was rotated as well. There. Now that's perfect. Now once I've done that, I'm going to put this a little down with the, because this just looks like I'm bending my foot hole. There. Now once I've done that, I'm going to import a ball back from Roblox Studio. So this time, you go, where plugins is, go to models and type soccer ball, football or like a TPS UCL ball and then it should come up like this and so it won't come up like the right one so I'm gonna go for UCL ball that's it and it shows these so I'm gonna choose this blue one because it matches my avatar and then I'm gonna because it looks because the ball looks proper big so I'm gonna press scale on home and like shrink it so it doesn't look too big on my avatar. So now wherever where the ball is, it's on TPS basically here. So I right click again, export section, and save it as the UCL ball. Whatever you want to name it. Once I done that, go back go back to Blender, file, import, 
we have for OBJ again and just import it. Same same thing you need to do. Then I'm oh shoot wrong, oh shoot wrong. But the ball, move it, bring it up, bring it more to the leg, and then cause the ball looks proper big compared to my avatar. I'm gonna scale it down and once again. So just like that. And basically it looks like that, so I'm gonna move it because it just looks like the ball took my foot. Move it a little bit up and there. There you go. My avatar looks like that. That's what it looks like I'm doing. So now now what I'm gonna do is let me just rotate the body a little bit more back because it just looks like there now move the hammer back. That's how I'm gonna rotate it because it just looks like okay. So now I've done that and if you want now you're gonna need to add the lighting and the camera. So once you've done that it should come like this object mode. And at the bottom it says well add add so when you press add you pre don't press light probe because it just comes up as random crap. So press light and I use area because it takes up most of the area and it's there. So go on it press area and just spawn it first. Now once you've done that you wanna make your pro render properties like so then it comes up as a PNG and it's transparent. So once you do that, it automatically comes up cycles and like this. So keep this the same. But now you need to press, you know where something is? Denoise this and this. Press denoise. And then once you do that, go all the way to the bottom where it says film. And then it comes up like this. Press transparent. Once you do, once you do that, you go to this photo thing. Remember that, that's called the output properties. Go up to it. Pull up as back, pull it up, file format. Press this and you want to press PNG so it comes up as a clear background, of course. Now, once you've done that, you have to make sure you press RGBA, otherwise, it won't come up, come up as a clear background and transparent. Once you've done that, you can choose whatever compression color depth. You, usually, for me, I just press 60 and compression to 100. Now, once you've done, now once you've done that, you can now fix your area on your camera and your light. Now I want to make it really big because I'm like that. And then I'm probably going to put it right in the middle of his body. Now once you've done that, you have to make the lightning. The lighting basically. Like the power of it. So you press this part of the lighting. The square. Once, you, once you've done that, it comes up as power. Now I would recommend... 8500 power to 10,000 because that's the right amount of lighting for the character. So, but I normally use 8500. Now, once, once I've done that, you want to go to the viewport shading right at the bottom right. This part where there's the white viewport shading and all this white circle, there's like a bubble circle, and this. Press that, and you should come up like that. That looks really bright, so I'm going to put it a little too. A little up and now that looks perfect to me so now once I've done that I will go back to the normal uh, normal uh, picture with the white pressing the white circle now once I've done that you wanna go back to add and add your camera so your camera's here and it's moving it and trying to get the right angle just press the camera and press press shift and the apostrophe on your keyboard under uh, under the app so it goes shift that and then it comes like this and you can move yourself so now i'm gonna move it i'm underneath it basically and then i want to go up and then move away from it. and it's gonna come up like this look so i'm moving with my keyboard and the key to use is w a s d now once you've done that you can move it however you want calmly now mine's perfect perfectly fits in the screen so that's perfect now i've done that i'm gonna see how it looks in the camera does it look nice you know for me yes now it does but now i want to make it 4k quality so i go to this red earth circle press it and it says use nodes press that and it comes up like this 
Then go on the where it says color, press the yellow dot. Yellow dot, and it comes like this. I'll go to texture, press environment texture so it works. And then once I've done that, it comes up like this, all like this. And then, because it, it makes it purple, which I don't want my character to be purple. So I add, and then I add a HDR called Chinese Garden. I'll put that in the description as well so you can download it and import it. So now it goes like this. So basically, since I've done so since I downloaded it, I just type Chinese Garden and it comes like this. I'm gonna do the one I recently downloaded and it makes my character better. Now once I've done that, I go to render and render the image. Just render the image and wait. So now once I've done that, it comes up like this. And it says all this at the top. You have to wait for the sample to go to finish to 128. So once you see it comes like this, so now you have to wait. So guys, once it's finished, it, so it should come up like this. So when it finishes, it says 128 sample colon 128 slash 128 and it comes up like this side at the top. Now once you've done that, you want to press image, save as. Now once you've done that, it comes up like this. You go to download and save or whatever as you want. I want to write it say bicycle kick volume. Now once I've done that, I save it and I go to files, download and open it. Now once you've done that, it comes up as a GFX and that is how to make a simple render GFX with a blender. But for some reason, it isn't loading properly. So let me try again. Now it is. So that is how to make a simple render GFX in under like 20 minutes. It takes quick if you're not wasting any time or making tutorials. It takes like so 10 minutes max if you learn all the steps quickly and easy. So that's all from me guys. Love and peace. Safe.